Admiral Onasi wanted to speak with you, ma'am. It's a little beat up, but it's still home. I wasn't able to be here to protect it when the Sith attacked the first time. This time you gave me a second chance. I owe you. I've read your records, how the Jedi sentenced you for doing what you believed. You wandered past the Outer Rim during your exile. I ask you, did you find any trace of Revan? I served with her, like you did. And we had to part, like you did. She said that there were places where she had to walk where I could not go. Places that she could not bring those she loved. I've waited for her to come back for almost four years. It doesn't get any easier. I would have done anything she asked. And when she told me to stay here, to try to keep the Republic strong, that was the hardest thing of all. I don't know, but it was important to her. She said that she believed something had been behind the Mandalorian Wars. That it hadn't been the Mandalorian's choice to attack the Republic. Whatever it was, I think she went off to find it. To fight it. It was near the end of the Jedi Civil War, when it seemed like we were going to lose everything. We met on a Republic warship, called the Endar Spire. It was being attacked over Terrace, and the Sith had stormed the ship. We saved the Republic, but it was like the war didn't end for her. She would keep remembering things that she had done, and it kept driving her. And she kept using it as a wall between us. And I think she finally remembered something terrible she had done during the Mandalorian Wars, and she went to put an end to it. She left without warning. She didn't say where, only that it was to a place where she could not take anyone she loved. And here you return, with her ship, without her. Yes, wherever she went, your ship's been there. If... If you return to that place, if you find some trace of Revan... No. Simply tell her that Carthonassi is waiting for her. Safe journey, exile. It has been some time. You were a fool to return. I spared you once. I will not do so again. Spare me? Ah, yes. No, you simply did not learn the lesson I sought to teach. That your strength is as meaningless as the strength of my hand. Quiet! Have you returned? Because now I understand why the Exile did what she did. There is much to be done. If the Exile has come here, then she has not come alone. The Huntress is with the Exile. She has a special talent for finding that which should remain lost. It also makes her difficult for me to sense. What a creature bred for such things. Shall I send the assassins for her? No, I have brought a beast to Malachor to deal with that one. We shall see if prey can become a predator. Her breaking shall be flesh and bone, or it shall be inside. If she survives, she will become stronger for it. Well, here's a surprise. Yet another slice of galactic paradise.
Why can't we ever go to Alderaan, Bythor, or some place without metal, jagged rocks, or packs of bloodthirsty beasts? I say we fire a rocket at her right now, and blow her screaming, burning body into the heart of this planet. It wouldn't work. If there were other distractions, maybe. If she wasn't telepathic, maybe. If you want to kill her like that, you need something else to occupy her attention. Otherwise, you might just wound her, and then we'd all be in trouble. This battle will not be decided by weapons. You are wrong. Manipulation is Kraya's strength, not battle. We have a chance. We just have to figure out how to make use of it. You've come a long way, Kreia. Stop it. Ah, the Huntress. To come alone, you are braver than I thought. She is not alone. We stand with her. And with her stand all the Jedi. And now I come in saying something suitably heroic. Children with lightsabers, but not Jedi, I think. Come close. Let me look upon you and see what the Exile's teaching has forged. An assassin, wasted pawn of the Republic, a blinded slave, and a fool. Which of you wishes to try yourselves against me? As you can see, I am unarmed. You, perhaps? You are a wasted pawn of the Republic, young one. You could have been so much more, even with your wide-eyed innocence, your naive love for others. Think. Think before you throw away your life for her. Think of everything you will lose by dying. Your lusts unfulfilled. A dance unfinished. A love requited. And you, blind one, 
You have hungered to strike me down ever since you saw the bond the Exile and I share. Can you feel the force running through me, even past the veil, past your bloodied eyes? You know you cannot win. The force runs strong within you, trail. But in the howling of a storm, it is difficult to hear the whisper of the blade. You have forever been the blind one. You were given a gift few are ever given. And yet you let your gift of sight warp you, twist... You think your existence under your lord was torture, Miraluka? I will make you see an assassin. Funny. That's just what I was thinking. <laughs> Running away? I'm not done with you yet. Nor are you. I will remake you. So when I look upon you, it shall be like a mirror. Then I shall let you die. There's nothing worse you can do to me. Take your time. When the Exile enters the Treus Academy, she will be faced with a choice. One path, assuming she survives, will allow her to save her friends, but she shall be the weaker for it. The other route will lead her directly to the spots, through the ones that have hounded her steps from the beginning, and she shall have her vengeance. Show her every respect when she arrives in these halls, Lord Sion. This I command you. destroy the Jedi, the Republic will fall and my people will be eradicated or enslaved. I never went to the surface, only the sky above it. The world is taboo to Mandalorians. We only came here when the Republic fleet gathered and we knew it was our only chance to stop them. I can't say I'm happy to be back here, but I believe we can do what must be done. You and her are alike, yet different in all the ways that matter. And I hate you as I hate her. <laughs> Places of this world flow through the cracks of my flesh. I cannot be killed. If I die here, then you will have sealed your fate. There is truth in your words. But there is nothing left for me except my master. I fight because it is the power that the Force fills me with. To survive. To inflict the pain on others. I can die a hundred times exile and still I will rise again as strong as before. I will not fall. I cannot die. Why? Why did she choose you? What makes you able to defeat me? Defeat me here? 
It is not possible to walk away from such things unscarred. To keep living when the universe dies around you. The Force is who I am. The dark side fills me. It is what I am. Kreia. She will try to break you. To teach you how far someone can fall. Her weakness is you as you are mine. I am glad to leave this place at last. <laughs>